Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. We've got this fantastically interesting video. 15 German brands you pronounce wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. Aldi's. Aldi's. <laughs> Is that wrong? Let's find out. Hey, have you seen my Adidas shoes? Your what shoes? Um, Adidas, the brand? <laughs> oh, All right. Adidas. Adidas. Um, not sure. Maybe you've left them in the car. Oh, in your friend's Volkswagen? Huh? Volkswagen, the car brand? It's a German car brand. You should know that. Oh, VW. Okay. What'd she just say? The car brand? It's a German car brand. You should know that. Oh, VW. Okay. VW. That doesn't. That's not how it's spelled. Okay. Okay. I'm not accepting that one. I'm already skeptical Hello, on Adidas. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. First. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but have been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. So a little update before I get into the topic. I had my wrist surgery last Tuesday. Everything went well, and my insurance approved it, so they're fully paying for it, which is great. Oh, look at that. Um, American I was Healthcare actually working. for a few days, but sort I'm doing of. better every day, and today is the first time that I thought I would try to record something as you can see i'm having my first follow-up appointment in four days and as promised okay, there will i feel be really video bad about this but topic, i'm skipping the wrist um, update as well this video was sponsored by and the sponsor is <laughs> go check out her video and then watch the sponsorship there because they're not paying me like the first one is audi most americans that i know i call it audi audi so pronounce it like i just said it Audi. In no, German, say Audi. we say Audi. Audi. And there's actually a funny story as to where this name came from. In 1904, a guy called August Horch founded a car company called A. Horch und Company Motorenwarenwerke Zwickau. But you don't say they did. They, they changed it from that. Why would they do that? A few years it rolls right off the tongue. Later, he left the company and founded a new one. But he wasn't allowed to call it Horch again, and since that's not only his last name, but also means listen in the imperative form, he ended up translating it into Latin, and that's Audi. So Audi, Audi means listen. Excellent. The company I'm one for one. is located in Ingolstadt in Bavaria. Then, of course, one of the most famous car brands in the world is this one. It's Porsche. located in Stuttgart, Germany. I've heard Americans pronounce it Porsche or Porsche in German. Porsche, that's just some idiot. <laughs> that's an idiot. Okay. German, we say Porsche. So there's like this Porsche. short e. Okay, yeah. I mean, honestly, that that's not really... I would, I would maybe call it that too. Porsche. I wouldn't say it with like an, a German accent like that. I would say Porsche, Porsche, but usually just Porsche. <laughs> it sound in the end, Porsche. It was founded by that Ferdinand Porsche in 1931 I like as that. a company for Porsche. vehicle development work and consulting. And one of the first assignments that the company had was from the Nazi government at the time to design a car for the general public which was what later would become Volkswagen. And so they designed the Volks... Excuse me, what? Which was what later would become Volkswagen. And so... Did you sneeze? They designed Bless you. the Volkswagen Beetle, the VW Käfer. Volkswagen. This one sounded super <laughs> funny to me when I first heard how people pronounce it in English. Mercedes-Benz. I actually used to drive... But I would maybe call it the mercedes F1 back in Germany. Um, so most Americans call this Mercedes. In German, we pronounce it Mercedes. So Mercedes. Ooh, that sounds much more French. Mercedes versus Mercedes. 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 So it's really pretty different. And that the full an name, of course, is Mercedes Benz. I've also heard that in England, people also huh. refer so, to. I, hey, we got the Benz. Mercedes as Merck. Which a lot of people just call it a Benz. So there you go. 
Those people are right. Um, a German will not know what Merck? you also refer to Mercedes as Merck. I've never heard that. Um, a German <laughs> a Benz, will yeah. not know what you're talking about <laughs> if you say that, just for your information. Originally, it was just the company <laughs> Daimler Motorengesellschaft, founded in 1890. The name Mercedes was added later, inspired by a Daimler car dealer called Emil Jelinek, who was also mm. driving car Emil races Jelinek. under the alias Monsieur Mercedes, which was based ah. on his daughter's first Mer name Mercedes. Mercedes Jelinek. The name was later also used for one of the car name. models Mercedes. in the year 1900 and then eventually became the name of the brand itself. Cool. This one simply has three letters, but BMW. of course they're pronounced differently in English and in German. In English, people say BMW. In German, we say BMW because W is pronounced V. And <laughs> you got to give us a pass on that one. Come on. I mean, that's just how we pronounce W. German and it stands for Bayerische Motorenwerke, which means Bavarian Engine Works. And of course, mm, BMW is that. located in my hometown, Munich, which is the capital of. And also, the BMW here is a horrible place you don't want to go. There, yeah. The Bureau of Motor Vehicles. The company was founded in 1916 and originally mainly produced aircraft engines. It's said that the logo represents a plane propeller I love and their it logo. also has the colors of Bavaria, blue and white, oh. to show the company's origin. Then after World War I, they survived by producing motorcycle engines, farm equipment, household items and railway brakes. Household and items? And built their first motorcycle in 1923. I want a BMW toaster. became a car manufacturer a few years later. They then went back to concentrating on aircraft engines again during World War II, using forced labor from prisoners in concentration camps, cool. and didn't get back into car manufacturing until 1952. Overall, all of these German <laughs> car brands that I just mentioned are more or less... These are all very nice brands, though, here in America. We love the German brands, okay? That means you're, like, uh, pretty cool and kind of wealthy if you've got an Audi or a Mercedes considered or luxury BMW. brands in the US. Yeah. I mean, Porsche, of course, and is Porsche. considered a luxury brand in Germany as well. But Audi, Mercedes and BMW are pretty much just regular car brands to us. Obviously, they do have expensive luxury cars as well. But the regular models are driven by people from all social classes in Germany. English well, they might have to add a little cost to the price tag when they ship it all the way over here to the to the States and also um, they're just really well engineered. Speakers call this Volkswagen, while in Germany we usually just call it VW, <laughs> VW, VW. I call but it VW. Even if we did go by the full name, it would be pronounced Volkswagen and not <laughs> Volkswagen. So just Volkswagen. imagine that it was spelled with an F and Volks V instead. Wagen. Volkswagen. Wagen. This ah, literally means people's Volkswagen. car or car of the people. Oh, and so it, was it really does mean like folks. The folks. The f it's the Volkswagen. <laughs> founded during the Third Reich That's in the funny. late 1930s because Hitler wanted to this have a wagon car that for was affordable folks. for middle class Germans and that met the needs of an average family. So this was his attempt to make cars something that wasn't only available to upper class people, but to the general public. And the company is based in Wolfsburg. Okay, interesting. Now let's move on to something other than cars. This so one I'm not giving up. Adidas. This is one of the brands where when I heard Americans say this for the first time, I didn't understand at all what they were <laughs> referring to because they usually pronounce it Adidas. Not usually. That's it. That's how they pronounce that's how we pronounce it. And in Germany we say Adidas. Adidas. I prefer Adidas. I like Adidas. Adidas? I'm just gonna I'm putting my foot down on that one. Adidas super different. It's the second largest sportswear manufacturer in the world after Nike. And I don't think that a lot of people know that this is a German company. It also has... I did not. I did not. An interesting backstory. It was founded by Adolf Dassler, whose nickname was Adi. So the brand name is based on his first and last Adi. name. Well, at least Adidas still keeps the Adi. Adidas. Adi Das. He founded the company at his Adidas. mother's house after he returned from World War I, and he actually played a big role in developing spiked running shoes. In 19 I've said it so many times now, I'm like questioning how I'm saying it. Adidas. 
Adidas. 24, his brother Rudolf joined the company and they founded the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. Hmm. But they later got into a fight, split up, and his brother actually founded his own company called Puma, which became the biggest ah, rival of Adidas. Dang. So both the Germans are crazy out here. There's so many popular German brands. Both Adidas and Puma are German brands. Amazing. Another shoe manufacturer that oh, many Germans would probably consider. The ladies love the Birkenstocks. They're very, very German. Let me guess. Birkenstock. Like if you talk about something typically German, Birkenstock is definitely going to be mentioned. Birkenstock. But of course, this brand is known all over the world nowadays, and it's natural is that, that what people I said? pronounce Birkenstock. it with their native accent. So English speakers usually say Birkenstock. In German, mm -hmm. we say Birkenstock. It's not too much. It's not. It's not way off. Birkenstock. Birkenstock, which literally translates <laughs> to different. birch stick. The roots of the company mm. go all the way back to the 18th century, by the way. Getting a From history lesson to here. alcohol, this is... <laughs> Jägermeister. Usually just Jäger. Jäger bombs, Jäger bombs, Jäger bombs. This is pronounced Jägermeister in German. Jägermeister. English Jäger. speakers usually say Jägermeister, which is pretty much the same, just with a pretty thick accent. And people also <laughs> often use the abbreviation Jäger, like, can I have a shot of Jäger, please? It literally means hunt master. Jäger. I don't drink Jäger. Is the hunter. That stuff and Meister is master, and it's a German herbal liquor. Yeah. This is a German grocery. That is, <sighs> I need to grow a few more hairs on my chest before I drink some more Jaeger. Store. You can also find them in other. I do not pronounce this wrong. All these, all the European countries, and they even have some stores in the US. I usually get the majority of my groceries at Aldi here in the US. In Germany, we call stores like Aldi or Lidl discounters. Aldi. Because they sell groceries for very low prices. In English, people usually pronounce this Aldi. I think I've also heard Aldi before, but I think most people say Aldi. Aldi. Or they also sometimes add an S that isn't there in the end and say Aldi's. In Germany, we just say Aldi. It has its origin. I don't know why we put an S. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Hmm. I think that's just a sort of a um, like a way in um in in America to say like it's you're going to all these like store like all these. I'm trying to think if there's like like how McDonald's has an S at it. Like you're going to McDonald's, not McDonald. But then again. You don't do that with like Walmart. I'm going to Walmarts. I don't know why we do that. I, that, that that's weird. In 1945, weird. when the two brothers Theo and Karl Albrecht took over their mother's corner store and came up with the concept of having a small selection while having low prices. I love all these though. You used to be able to get eggs there for like 79 cents. A dozen. The name Aldi comes from Albrecht Discount. So Albrecht, which is their last name, discount. In oh, Germany, cool. we have Aldi Süd and Aldi Nord, Aldi South and Aldi North. Again, this is because of two brothers splitting up I've never seen the bottom one. into two different businesses. In oh. the US, the store is simply called Aldi and it actually belongs to Aldi South, while the store Trader Joe's belongs to Aldi North. Trader Joe's is German? Now let's move on to cosmetics. Nivea is a German brand from Hamburg. I don't even know that. That's mainly known. I think that's like uh, uh, body wash. Known for its face lotion in the little blue container. Uh. But of course, they offer a large variety of products nowadays. Again, I find the English pronunciation pretty funny here. I don't English even know. native speakers usually say Nivea. Nivea. That's what I would have guessed. In German, we say Nivea. Nivea. So the emphasis Nivea. is on the E. Nivea. Nivea. This is a German hair cosmetics brand that you can find all over the world pretty much. In German, we pronounce it Schwarzkopf, which I don't think I recognize that either. Literally means black head. Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. English native speakers usually pronounce it Schwarzkopf or Schwarzkopf like or something along those lines. Schwarzkopf, yeah. Deutsche Bank is the largest <laughs> bank in Germany. 
Deutsche Bank also literally means German bank. Of course, you can find Deutsche Bank not only in Germany, but in other countries. Yeah, I would just call it Deutsche Bank as well. A good friend of mine here in Cincinnati actually just did an internship with them in their New York City location and she's also going to start a full-time job with them soon and Americans usually pronounce it Deutsche Bank or something along those lines and my friend always uses the abbreviation. Was that wrong? I didn't even hear the difference between what she said and what the Germans said. And Deutsch when she referred Deutsch. refers to it. Um, so like she said, I got a job offer from Deutsch which is just really funny to me because that literally just means German. <laughs> This is a German manufacturer of high-end domestic appliances, and it's not exactly pronounced wrong in English, but... I don't recognize that either. Miele? English native speakers usually say something like Miele, Miele. Um, so it usually sounds Miele. more like an A in the end, whereas in German we say Miele. Miele. So the oh, last letter close. is just a little bit different. Miele. And Miele really does stand for quality. If you invest in a Miele dishwasher or washing machine, you just know that it's going to be a good product and oh. it's going to last. Gotcha. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm shopping around. This is something that everyone... Horrible. <laughs> I just realized this is not spelled how I've... I've always called it Harboro. Haribo knows and loves hopefully like one maybe not everyone knew that Haribo is actually German we pronounce it Haribo Haribo oh. and again the name originates Haribo. in the name of the founder of I like completely imagined a different spelling of this so I'm way off the company Haribo. which was Hans Riegel and he was from the city of Bonn in Germany so Hans Riegel from Bonn and he always took the first two letters some fantastic gummies though. Put them together and it became Haribo. Hans Riegel Bonn. Haribo. Those are everywhere here in the States. Love them. And are the last but not gummies, least, though. let's talk about a company that is not doing super well during these times, but it's one of the largest companies in Germany and second largest airline in Europe. And maybe you've flown with them before. I've never flown. I've never seen that. Luft. Lufthansa. Lufthansa. In English, <laughs> people usually say Lufthansa, but in German, we say Lufthansa. So the Luft emphasis on the first syllable, Lufthansa versus Lufthansa. Lufthansa. And that was the last brand name on my list. Aww, so now, of course, fun. I want to know from you guys, which of these brand names you've always mispronounced? Pretty much all of them. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Um... But that was a great video. That was a lot of fun. I like this uh, channel. Fili from Germany. Go check her out. Lots of videos about... Um, that's not her videos. <laughs> yeah, lots of videos of, uh, about Germany and stuff. Uh, but thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.